I don't like to, to uh, I don't like to talk. I like, I like to write. And talking about the project, like uh, letting out steam, I like to be a, a steam. You said that uh, yes, yes. To, and, and have this, this secret of my own. Or did my wife know anything? Uh, knows anything about what I'm doing? But uh, when I was a little boy, I, my, my family is not uh, from Oslo originally. They are from up north, northern part of Norway. Very, very small island. They were fisher and very poor people. And when I was a child, we, we had we spent our vacation up there. And uh, uh, when we were there, I, I was very eager to, uh, to roam, to go boats and go out in the sea, in the north end of the a very rough uh, uh, area. Uh, but we had no boat. But a neighbor had a boat. And uh, that was an old lady. And she took me and my sister out on the sea, and we were fishing, and uh, she was, told us how to go to the boat and to do all things that is necessary for you to stay alive you know, in the Atlantic. And uh, uh, we were once outside, and she and I asked, What is that island? There was an island, but uh, like floating temples on, on the horizons out there. What was that island? It was a very characteristic figure out there. And she said, uh, that's the most beautiful place on earth, she said. But she was going to do that. And she didn't turn around and look at it. And later on, as uh, I was studying mathematics in Oslo, I gave up because I knew, uh, like Milan Kundera, the life is everywhere, it, it is uh, somewhere else. So I left Oslo the University and, go, and went up north to become a writer. And the woman was still living in the neighboring, neighboring house. She was like 85 years old. And we of course talked a lot. And uh, it turned out she and her family uh, had been living on this island uh, uh, for, for generations. And when they, when they took it, took down the, they took that actually down the houses and floated them, uh, they made floats out of the houses, uh, brought them into the mainland and, and put them up uh, again on the new on the, on the new land. And she had actually spent with her family. She had lived on this island like on this cruise for 53 years. And her aunt who came here, that this was the two last women on this island. Her aunt was 78. They had never been somewhere else. And uh, this may sound boring, but it's not. This is a very, very dramatic uh, uh, story about man and nature, uh, uh, about how to survive in these in this harsh surroundings. It's about, about seas, a lot about weather, of course, about fish, and, but how to stay uh, a human on, uh, on this island. And this gives me an opportunity to work with all kinds of metaphors because we are all idols. Uh, 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 yeah, well, this is what I'm working on now.